I'm not late. Hold on. I just finished up a lesson. Guys, welcome to Jeremy's Rock School 365. Today, you probably got a guitar and you want to learn how to, or what this thing is and how to use it. All right, so let me explain it a little bit. Uh, this guitar, actually, you have several different kind of guitars. Actually, hold on one second. This is a uh, solid electric guitar, solid body. It has a... Uh, so this guitar, the guitar has six strings, it has pickups. This one you would plug in. You have a guitar neck, here's the body, the guitar neck, the headstock, tuning pegs right here. You have your strings, and you have your nut right here, and then you have these frets. Now, I'm going to go into these, all this stuff a little bit more on this other guitar. I just want to kind of explain the differences. So this one, you need an amp. can't really hear it. This one, it's called a semi-hollow guitar, right? And uh, you can use an amp or not. But I'm going to do more of my explaining on this one. All right. So we have strings. You're going to probably have a pick. And you're probably like, what do I do? And I've been there. So, the first thing, first thing you need to understand is uh, each string is tuned to a specific note. And I just covered that in my last video on how to tune a guitar. So once your guitar is tuned, let's talk about what you're actually using. What is this? So, um, what happens is the strings vibrate. It resonates in the body and gives you a sound. And when it's tuned properly, you get, it sounds good. If I, if I play in the wrong spots, it could sound like... We don't want that. So this is why it is important to know what we're doing on guitar. So what we have is uh, the body. This is the body. It sits on your leg. Uh, some people like to hold it like this. I personally just use this and try to sit up straight and uh, not kill my neck by bending over. Um, then you have your guitar neck where you're going to put all your hands where you're... You're gonna do your work where you're gonna learn how to learn the fretboard. And then you have the headstock where the tuning pegs are and everything serves a purpose. So the first thing I wanna talk about is these, these frets. So this is the nut. This is, if I just played the string open, it's the note resonating from here to here for each string. And that's a guitar that's in tune, open strings. So you're like, well, what are these things? Well, what those do, they pick up the vibration of the strings and sends it through this jack right here into an amplifier. And here's, you got volume controls. And we can talk about that later on. But let's just get the basics down so you can start playing and kind of understand what's going on. And this pick selects the uh, different pickups. So from, from, let's look at the neck where you're gonna be putting your hands. So I'll talk about how, like, I'll talk about numbers with fingers. So my index finger, I'll call one. My middle finger, I'll call two. My ring finger, I'll call three. And my pinky, I'll call four. And I'm not, you can't really use your thumb. So I'm, your thumb stays back here. I really don't like to put it on the back like this too much because it, it gives me this arch in my wrist and I'm not into that. I'm not into playing like that. It like just hurts the wrist from my experience. So moving forward, when we when I go say if I say take the first finger, put it on the first fret of the E string, the low thick string, it would look like that. We don't want to go on the the nut. That's that's too far back. We want to actually put it in between the metal rod here and this here. This would be the first fret. And there's also on a lot of guitars, there's these little indicators. I don't know if you can see that, but there's these indicators right here, and they're on the odd numbers. We have one, what is it three, five, seven, and nine. We're gonna stay in this area, so don't don't worry too much about that. But just remember, first fret, second fret, and third fret. You have indicators right there. Okay. So, like I say, you're gonna take your first finger and put it on the first fret on the E string. Now you'd want to be in between the frets and it's going to give me that note. So it's, there's open, there's the second note. 
So the first thing I want to do is getting our hands into a chord. I want to start out with an E minor chord and it, uh, we're going to use our second finger and our third finger and we're going to go ahead and put our second finger on the A string on the second fret and our third finger on the D string on the second fret. And that's going to look like that. Now we don't want to do this. We, can't, we want to arch our fingers over and push down. We don't want to mute out these other strings. We need those strings to ring because it's part of the chord. So if it's, if it's properly being pushed down, so remember when you push down, you want to remember to squeeze and strum. So you squeeze, strum, squeeze, strum. And that gives us our E minor chord. You don't have to kill it. You don't have to you know, break your fingers. You don't have to, you know, just strum it. I notice a lot of uh, students, they strum, when their hand's not pushing down all the way, they'll strum harder because this hand isn't pushing. So just remember, squeeze and strum. So I'm gonna add another chord in there. Uh, it's the same shape, so E minor looks like that. So try to take like a mental photo. Take your hands off, go back to that. Take your hands off, go back to that. Strum it, take your hands away, go back to that. And you'll build that shape muscle memory type situation in your mind. So the next thing I want you to do is take the same shape and go down a set of strings. So you, now you're going to have, uh, it's going to be on the D second fret and on the G second fret. And you're going to use your index finger and then your ring finger, which are your second and third fingers. And you're going to go ahead and strum. And that happens to be an A sus two chord. So what I want you to get used to in this lesson, it's just a fast lesson to get you playing something, uh, is a couple chords. And uh, we're going to go between E minor and A sus 2. And we're going to strum each chord. We'll start out strumming each chord eight times, or in a beat of eight. And what I want you to do is play it for four beats and then give yourself four beats to switch to the next chord. And you're, it's not going to be perfect, so just do the best you can and have fun with it. That's guitar, right? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm doing all down strums. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switching. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Let's go back really quick though and talk about the picking. Sorry, but I want to cover that. Um, there's when you go to strum a chord, take your E minor chord, right? You can go down, up, down, up, or all downs right now, but you want to strum from your wrist. You don't want to strum from your elbow. You'll end up hurting your elbow. So that's something really important, and you gotta watch yourself as you play. Make sure you're you're getting it from the wrist. And I always tell people it's like you're drawing a piece of paper. You just want to take that same motion and hold the pick like, like that. There's different ways to hold the pick. For strumming chords, we want it like that. A nice little sweep. We don't want to, we don't need to kill it. Then we squeeze and then a nice little strum. So we'll go back into the chord progression. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's add uh, all eight beats for each chord. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now I want you to switch every four beats. And it's going to be challenging, so you got to keep working at it. Don't give up. This is a craft. This is an art, so we're always improving. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Remember to squeeze and strum. Squeeze, strum, 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 strum. Two, three. So that about wraps it up. If you guys have any questions about uh, just starting out, just learning guitars, please look at my channel. I got a ton of songs I'm teaching. I'm adding content daily. Uh, if you have any questions though, if you're confused about your setup, shoot me a message. Let me try to help you. Um, I've been in your shoes and I know what it's like to uh, struggle and uh, I just want to help you guys be the best guitar players you can be. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, I will see you in the next lesson.